Housen versus Damien Trainer. You're gonna love this. Andy Housen versus Damien Trainer. In the red corner, we have Andy Housen fighting out of bad company camp in Leeds and trained by Richard Smith. In the red corner, we have Damien Trainer fighting out of K Star camp in Birmingham and trained by Steve Logan. This fight to be fought over five three minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules. And these two epitomize that weight category at the top end. And in many ways, that three rounds or two and a half rounds was a taster for these two guys. So they've already had a little bit of a, an idea of what could happen, haven't they? Yes. I mean, you saw Damien is sinking a hard body punch and a trademark, that body punch, hook and low kick straight away. And these two look very deadly serious. You know, like, you know, they laugh and joke outside the ring, but as soon as they get in, look at that expression on Damien's face, Malcolm. You know, and obviously, Mr. Housen, absolutely not phased by that at all. Nodding and smiling when he gets caught. Just a little nod, but very, very furious action we're going to see here with these two. Talking him to beforehand, Andy said one of his problems in both these fights, the, the, the fight we were talking about on Paul Hennessy's show and his first fight with Damien, is he was a little in awe in the first rounds of both those fights. Gave them too much respect. Yes, because he was up against a top-class Thai opponent on his last one, and what a war it was. Absolutely fantastic. One of the best fights I've seen in the UK last year against the Thai. And obviously the same thing again. He's in with a guy, as he said, you know, he watched, he watched Damien growing up when he was a junior fighting. And when Damien was fighting adult fights, and, you know, five-rounders. So he, he's, he's actually fought his hero. Not once, but now twice. You're fighting your hero. And that's why he said probably the first round he was a little bit phased by it, and, you know, and, and you, rightly so, who wouldn't? I think the criticism of Damien might backfire in a big way here because you said he's so focused yes. and so determined. That's the, I was trying to say before, Malcolm, thank you, you reminded me. The, from every negative comes a positive, and the positive is something slags you off on an internet forum, it was one of two things, you either ignore it or you react. And I believe you can react in a positive way, and that's what I think that Damien will do. I mean, there's a silence there. There's the, you know, the, the crowd were very, very vocal when these two fighters came into the ring, and the 2,000 people have dulled into a silence with the odd obligatory shout of A, which is the trademark thing that they shout in Thailand as they do here. You can hear that A, A, that's what people shout, and they acknowledge that. The crowd and appreciate two gunslingers at the moment, Sandy, tip for tap, whatever one throws, a lightning response comes back. They yes. really are that fast at the weight. It's like watching a fast game of ping pong with pain. <laughs> can you say that without a drink? <laughs> or can you say it with a drink? Yeah, it's just so fast. It's like honestly like a fast game of table tennis. It's just bang, 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 non-stop. And like you said, one hits, one hits back, and it doesn't matter who starts it first, but the other will counter. Do not go for a cup of tea. Do not blink. Do not move. Just sit here and watch this. And being honest, in the past, and I mean quite distant past in terms of Andy Housen's short career, we've seen him come in, let's be honest, a bit out of condition. Those days are long gone as well now, aren't they? Oh, yes. I mean, look at him. Look at his six-pack there now. He's, got, he, he's maturing, Andy. You know, just the same thing as we've seen with his counterpart and his, his, his friend in the gym of Liam Harrison, one of our favourite fighters for Channel 5. You know, Liam's in Thailand at the moment, you know, as we speak. He's just, you know, he's got some real big prestigious fights going on. You know, and obviously, the two of them, we've seen them rise from, like, being a young teenager. They start to go through that transitional period where they turn into a man, boy to man, as I say, which obviously Damien's already done, and that's where Andy is right now. Yes, superbly conditioned for his fights. Now, trainer always superbly conditioned. And I feel for many years one of the most underrated men in the sport because, as you said, he doesn't brag about himself. He, he isn't out there as a showman or, or talking about it. He just does it in the ring. That's right. Walking comes first, the talking comes later. You know, actions speak louder than words. And we're going to coin all the phrases in this fight, Malcolm. We're going to be allowed freedom of speech. And, you know, I'm really privileged to be sat here with you, Malcolm, and speaking and talking and watching this fight. It's, this is, you know, it's awesome. I really am. And, I'm really and getting back about to this. that fight, that was a really good, sharp first round. Amazing. I mean, you know, I couldn't even begin to get a pen to paper and judge that, Malcolm. I'm too busy watching this and talking about it. You know, I'm not even going to do a score unless I, uh, you know, I start to see things later on. But for now, I mean, I, do, I couldn't separate those two there. Just pure action throughout the whole three-minute round. 
and it's full tyre rules too, so we've, we've got a lot to come to. You think that's that's it, you've, you've seen nothing yet. Yes, if we do say anything about that first round, it was fought at a specific range, wasn't it? Yes, yes, and I think we'll see, you know, the other weapons coming in. We've got knee and elbow to the first yet that we haven't seen. They were. They didn't come into play in that first round. There wasn't that range at that first round, was there? No. I mean, this round, you have to say, don't blink. You should not get up, go for a cup of tea. Okay, don't do anything. Sit here and watch this. This is going to be an absolute awesome fight. Damien Trainer, who walks the walk. Andy Housen, who walks the walk. Very little talk, and when it is from these two, it's usually nice. Great comments. And you've seen, at the end of that first round, they both laughed. Punched each other in the stomach as a gesture of like, well done. They've come out, and they're just growling at each other now. You know. There's no love lost okay, once that bell goes, and the minute the bell you know, sends the end of the round, they both smile at each other. True sportsmen, absolutely, through and through. And as we said again, a super prestige fight, no belt at stake, just the bragging rights. Absolutely, and that's good. You know, like we've been talking about this title thing all night, Malcolm. You know, you don't need to just fight for a title. The main thing is fight, just fight. That's what it's about, the nature of the beast. And the elbow's coming in like you predicted this round. Yes, I thought that would happen. They're not going to show us everything in the first round, even though they showed us a lot. You know, there was non-stop action. Oh, he no. rocked Andy there. Damien yeah. rocked Andy. Yeah, he just dipped there. When you ever see somebody's legs drop slightly, that's where you get a slight brain rock. That's where the, the, the brain inside okay, the skull will just rock slightly, okay? and that's when you get like a, a very minuscule flash knockout, and that's when the legs go. So he obviously tagged him there, but Andy, you know, straight back, you wouldn't know he'd been hit there. He's instantly back, and that shows his conditioning. Yes, Damien reddening around the right eye, just that side of his face, and he nodded again to Andy, as you said, mutual respect here. Nice deep low kick from Damien there, because obviously the both of them are very good at blocking, if you notice. There's been a lot of shin on shin so far, so what they need to do is go behind that leg, and that was a good tactic from Damien. And he's just done it there, caught the yes, leg. Yes, he's and caught the leg three yeah. times in this bout already. Yeah, because I noticed before when Damien threw a kick, kid, Andy was blocking nicely and vice versa. So they now need to go on what's called a tactical approach and learn go, going deep into the, the tie boxing resources. That's the trademark body hook of Damien. Yeah, they need to go into their own, the, the basic skills now of, of, of old, which is what's called advanced Muay Thai. Okay, the main mind and the look mind, which means change your tactic of your technique slightly by disguising it. A low kick is a low kick, but you know if you move to your right or move around your opponent, catch the leg and kick, those are the tactics. It's still a low kick, but it's what you do with it. And that's what separates an experienced A-class fighter, what are these that laughed at that elbow because it just tapped him. Damien just laughed. But yeah, that's, this is the tactical approach. This is where the experience will come in. And yet it's still explosive. That's the best of oh, both worlds, absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. That's not... when you get true people at the top of their game when you get such explosion but such control and thought as well that's it i mean it's true great here at its best you know we've got tactical we've got basics we've got advanced techniques we've got solid solidarity there you know oh beautiful right punch beautiful skip left knee mr trainer is obviously really has improved and he, he's, he's smiling now damien he knows his effects if, if you're going to make a little Get that pen on your judge's card and steer it from left to right. You would steer it left to the red corner, perhaps. This also shows you how much this rematch means to Damien. He's not a showboater. He's not a showman yet. He ripped his arms up into the air there at the end of the round to make a statement. He's not one for making statements like that. This means so much to him, this fight. Like I said before, Malcolm, it's maybe the, you know, who knows, that internet forum might be doing more good than harm. I mean, it, it's been such a good rate of work already in these first two rounds. Nice combination from Andy. Took a, bit on, a little bit on the arm, sorry. And Damon replies back. You were right, because it was a flash knockout because it was high on the temple, wasn't it? Yes. And it's just called, you know, it's just where your brain rocks a little bit. And, you know, obviously that goes straight, straight down to your boots, as they say. And, you know, your legs will crumble a little bit. That's what happens. But um, Andy just took it very well. You know, it wasn't classed as a knockdown or, you know, there's no standing eight there because he is very well conditioned. And his face betrayed no emotion. As you said, it was just his legs that gave him away. But as you said, Damien is sharp and hard and fast. But as you equally mentioned, Andy's defense is so good as well. It, it's such a perfect match. Yeah, I mean, you know, you mentioned it before, there's two marks now, one on the right temple, one on the right temple of Damien there, and one on the left under the eye. So he is actually being successful, Andy, with himself with his techniques. 
That's right, but they so oh. shot beautiful. Corkscrew uppercut there from Damien, and they both smiled yeah, again. Look at, yeah, look at Damien. He's enjoying this fight, Malcolm, and that knee there. Whoa, that was excellent timing, beautiful accuracy. And this is shaping up to be a great fight already. We had it on paper, it looked it, but sometimes they fail to live up to expectation. This one certainly is at the moment. Good attempt to the nice round side knee there from Damien. You don't see that so often, that was good. Skip round knee. Nice high kick from Andy Housen. Just a little mention about the trainers. We've got Richard Smith, obviously, there from the Bad Company main trainer. And obviously, we've got our friend there, Steve Logan, from the K-Star Academy in Birmingham. Two very experienced trainers. Ooh, that body knee again. Uh, so it shows the condition of Andy, because he took... That was a solid shot. Yes, the crowd really appreciating this one. Yeah. Oh, downward elbow from Damien. Yeah, he's losing confidence now. That second round's done him a lot of good, Malcolm. And you know, he's busted his confidence up, knowing that he can land shots, and, and cleanly too. They're yeah, going to the score worry well. for him, though, Sandy, as we're noticing, is the, the left eye, the swelling underneath it, the damage around the, the, the right temple. He's yeah. had the more success, but Andy looks far less marked, and you wonder if this starts to cut. Yes, that, you know, considering the point you've said there, Damien has been, is more accurate, and he has landed. Uh, but Damien, uh, sorry, but Andy's actually produced the marks on Damien. They're both loving this fight, Malcolm, aren't they? You can see they're both enjoying it. They're enjoying everything. And uh, just the point. Oh, big elbow there. Ooh. Big elbow there from Damien. And Andy just laughed again. Sign of a good fight, Malcolm, is I didn't even notice John Blackley was in there. No, in fact, that we can see him on our screen. He stood that far back from the fight. These two fighters show how professional they are. And so sort of walked through that elbow. Yes. And another big elbow from Damien. This has brought the crowd to fever pitch. But look at that eye swelling up, Malcolm. That could, they need to get that down in the corner. We'll get some ice on that on Damien, because I'd hate to see a fight get stopped on the cup. Especially of this calibre as well. Yes. But Andy is unmarked. Good body shot there this time yeah. from Housen. Oh, it. big right hand from Damien. And Andy's feet have gone again. Andy's gone. He's gone. He's tucking up. I don't know. I don't think so. He, 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 it looked like he was rocking, but he just put his hands down. He content. Oh, brilliant. Look at that. You're right, Sandy. Unbelievable. I thought he was rocking and yeah, rolling. Like he was. No, he actually, I think he was just sort of going, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it was difficult to see from the back, Malcolm. I'm just, I'm on it. I'm not. I was only at a slightly different angle, but from here, from where we are sat, it did look like he was going. But I just noticed that just the gesture of his, of his face, he just looked like, and? And I don't know if he took, because Damien can't half bang. That's what he did his, as well. But I'll tell you something, there's no two ways about it. It's trainers round. Yes, what trainers looking like is saying, what are you doing still stood in front of me? It's trainers round, but I have to apologize to Andy there. I thought he was gone, and as you said, he dropped the club and said, bring more on. But he shook his hands to the corner and said, what can I do? Yeah. That was a master class by trainer that round. It was. I mean, obviously, you know, you know, you know, and I know, Malcolm, fighters who have lost, who perhaps and arguably shouldn't have lost, which is, you know, what people say about him because of his experience, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, he's obviously wanting this fight and it's who wants the fight the most usually wins. Good body shot there from Andy. Yeah, that's the, that's the type of punch that Damien uses and Andy used it back. And there's the big right hand, and then the left. And this is yeah, where I no, thought he, did he was going. No, he did actually he wobble. You were right. And now from the back, for us point of view now, you'd say, look, his hands are down, he's taking it. But it, what did it to me was that. I yes. noticed that he put his hands back up solid, which meant that he must, head must be clear. Yeah, and obviously, and then from that point, he kept his guard up again, as you can see here now, so thinking, I am, he was, of course he was. But a sign of a true champion as he is, thinking, I'm going to need to cover up and then come back, and as he did there. But superb, superb fight. But I mean, Andy was looking to his corners to say, my God, what is this man doing? Because he unloaded in his own yeah. corner, Damien, and it was awesome to watch. And as you said, from the back when we were watching it, it looked like Andy was all over the place. And as you said, he suddenly played peekaboo with his guard and said, incredible chin. Yes. And that, you know, if anybody ever questions whether Andy can take it, I, do, I, I would never question that. He's just proved himself again there. But I must say, for that round, Damien Trainer was on fire. That was awesome. This is Muay Thai at its best. And, you know, for anybody who's going to be watching this, you know, and you're watching this now live, it's just awesome. This is Muay Thai at its best. You know, I bet if this was in Thailand now, the Thais would be on the feet. And I'm telling you, they would. 
because they'd really appreciate this fight. It's a cracking start. Cracking, absolute amazing rounds of fight with these two have just put in. And Still the, the pivotal rounds, four and five yes. to go as well. I'm amazed at Andy's powers of recovery. Superb. And a short right hand of his own again into yep. that left eye, which Damien has to watch. Yeah, Damien smiled again. You always know, I mean, it's a tie thing that you know, Malcolm, and the British have adopted it very well. If you get it, you laugh. And it's psychologically damaging sometimes to your opponent. You know, because you think, I've just hit you and you're smiling. Are you mad? <laughs> but it works. Damien in his tracks there with the low kick, Andy. Yeah, Damien smiles through his green gum shield as he does does that. Okay, Damien's corner just said they first. He sort of stood off back a bit here, hasn't he? Oh, big right hand from him again, though, on the counter. Understandably, them standing off slightly because they both they've got power in every hand, every elbow, every knee, and every kick. There isn't one side of their body that's that's on the oh. Right to the top, jumping downward, perfect to the top of the head. Absolutely spot on. And Andy just, just it keeps up. coming yeah. forward. Terminate. This guy doesn't give up. When you said that Thai boxing is the new boxing in terms of the next big thing, these two men are showing us why, really. Oh yes. I mean, this, be, this should be shown prime time TV. It should be on every single channel. Sky as well. Oh, beautiful. Icon, Everybody baby. knows that I love boxing. But boxing can't give you this. No. As much as I love it, it cannot give you what we are seeing no. now. This is excitement on its highest level. I'm, I'm, I'm just so privileged to be sat here, Malcolm. This is such an awesome fight. We can't get any closer to the ring. If we're any closer, we'll be in it. And I don't want to get in here with them, either of these two. <laughs> Quality fighters. Oh, a big elbow, and Andy says, give him, give me another one. Oh, oh, they, both, they both hit each other with the same elbow. They both did a left up, got elbow together. Same, simultaneous, that was awesome. Psychologically, Damien must be wondering, what have I got to do? Most other men would have been out of there by now. And but it, one of the great gifts for Andy is he's unmarked I, still. Sorry, I've just, you've just, I was just going to say to you, the point you made early and you've made throughout this fight, Malcolm, you just reiterated it there. I was just going to repeat your very words. He is unmarked. How? I don't understand, but it's a gift. I mean, he's got all the technical ability. <laughs> and he took that on the chin and he, he says, come back on. He said, give it me back. Wow, you are tough, Mr. Housen. You know, if you don't win this fight, mate, you've won it on conditioning and being here and, 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 and spirit and warriors. Oh, it's tough for words. This is awesome. I mean... I'm, I'm a firm believer that Damien Trainer is winning this fight. Yes. But if you were to walk in now and look at the two men. Yes, if you walk, right, exactly, good point. Imagine you walking in now into this arena. You come in here now, yeah? Four rounds have gone. We're in the final round. I can't believe, where's that gone, Malcolm? Have I missed a round? If you came into this fight and looked at these two, you'd say, who do you think was winning? You'd say Andy Housen. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Jump down with elbow. I mean, he's been beaten to the punch, he's been beaten to the elbow, he's been beaten to the kick, he's unmarked, he calls his man forward, and I mean, sometimes Damien must be looking at him thinking, what on earth can I do? Because I tell you, most of a trainer's opponents would have been out of there by now. Yes. Simple as that. And yet he's unmarked and he keeps walking forward, and he takes two uppercuts on the point of the chin, and then tells him to come on and give me another. True grit. Look, that one, two, three. Two. There, and he, this is where he says, come on. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, the fifth round, and I, I dread to think what's going to happen. I'm in anticipation of this because Andy needs a huge, huge round. And this is incredible stuff. I mean, the crowd are at fever point now, this fifth and final round. I mean, you can quote me later, Malcolm, but, you know, this for me, this has been the best fight of 2006 so far. You know, quote me or unquote me, but, I, you know, from what I've seen so far, and the fight isn't over. You know, four rounds, you know, I'd been happy to, you know, if they stop the fight right now at four rounds, I've had my money's worth, Malcolm. It's been awesome. Absolutely awesome. So here we go, the fifth and final round. I think Andy needs a stoppage. 
Yes, I mean, you know, first round even, second Damien stepped it up, third, fourth, I've got him three rounds to one even. Or if you give the first round to Andy, three to one so far. But he should not be disappointed with that, as in how he's performed today. Because he has given us an awesome display of Muay Thai. There's nothing to be taken away from either of these two, win or lose. And Andy's going for it. I mean, you've got to credit him. He knows what he's got to do, and he's trying it. Yes. I mean, what would be interesting, Malcolm, if it was a, this was a 10-8 round, for, for, for example, with yes. uh, Andy, wonder what would happen. Would it be a draw? I think Damien's going to step up the pace again as well. He still looks fit. He still looks fresh himself, apart from of the obvious facial damage, which hasn't worried him. Right. I don't think he's too experienced, I think, to let Andy run away with this round. I'll be very shocked if he does. Yeah, that's where the experience comes in. I mean... You know, he, he, he's used every bit of resourcefulness in this fight. I mean, Andy's now having his moments for sure. And Damien's, you know, gritting his face again, which he's done throughout this fight. You know, and he's coming such a, a, a new a new man again. He's a new Damien trainer. As we saw, you know, this new Andy Housen is, you know, has been shown a little bit here of where experience can show and make a difference. I think that's what's played part today. One experience and number two, is that determination coming off a loss because of some negative comments, perhaps? That could be the icing on the cake. And both fighters laughing at that, smiling, should I say. And I'm still absolutely amazed, right above our commentary position, there's not a mark on Andy. I know. Not that's, a mark on him. It's like he hasn't been in the ring. It's crazy, because, you know, Damien has landed with so much, as has Andy. You know, you can see the marks on Damien's proof of Andy's, you know. Oh, I thought I was going to do something. I thought just, it was his yeah. hand then no, for a I'm moment. Say, not please just don't do that. No. His glove had twisted, that was all. And, and, and let's say this, Andy Houston stopped and let him adjust it. He didn't yes. need to have done. That's, a tr again, a true sportsman in Andy. But, yeah, Damien's on fire, as they say. Well, that'll do Andy some good. Yes. One apiece to be knocked down with a low kick. Must be two minutes have gone in this round. Must be into the final minute, Malcolm, of this. It's got to be. Yes, it's been, been a big round for Housen. Ooh, nice a body big hit. round for Housen. He's done his best to pull this right back, as expected. Oh, and it just, just missed the chin there of Damien. It just, I mean, I've, yes, in fact, sir. I bet he felt the hers off his knee. Yes, it's been a big round for Andy this round. What, what a fight, Sandy. What a fight. He's just two words at the moment. And a jumping, jumping round kick, half knee. Can't be long left, Malcolm, no. There's got to be under 20 seconds left. Like I say, oh, there There you go. Well, oh. They both know. And I think that's Andy's way of saying yeah. Damon's got this fight. Yeah, but he still punches the air, and rightfully so, because, you know, he's just put five rounds of, of everything into that. I personally think that the midway, you know, the second, third, and, the second, third, we've even got Malcolm here clapping his hands at the side of me. The third, fourth, and fifth I'm going to give to Damien. One possibly and five to Mr. Housen. So three rounds to two on my unofficial scorecard, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, what about it? Don't come better than that, I tell you. Let's hear from both these guys. We have a majority decision. Judge A scored about 48 48. Judge B, 48 47. Just see 49 47. A majority decision in favour of the boy in the red corner from Birmingham, Damien Trainer.